Hey, what to this? You know, I have an old Chromebook lying around, but it's not supported by the latest Chrome OS. So I thought, if that is just a regular computer, you can make it into a regular computer, why not install Chrome OS Flex on it? So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right, here we go. We're on the laptop. So we're gonna press escape, refresh, and the power button, and it will boot into recovery. Here we go. Tab displays a whole bunch of firmware info. Oh, and I can't get rid of that. So anyway, control D and then press enter. Here we go, OS verification is off. Let's press control D again. Okay, your system is transitioning to developer mode. Local data has been cleared. Modifications you make to the system are not supported by Google, may cause hardware issues and may void warranty. To cancel, turn off the computer now. Okay, let's wait until um, the system has transitioned to developer mode. All right, so while this thing is transitioning, we're gonna be bringing in the HP laptop 15S-FQ1515NA, I think it is. So yeah, we're gonna open up Google Chrome. If I can even, name search. I can, okay, Chrome. As apparently you can only do this with Chrome. So yeah. We're going to open up the Chromebook recovery utility. The USB stick is already in the computer. I did that off camera. So we're going to select the model from a list. Select the manufacturer. Um, where is it? Google Chrome OS Flex. And Chrome OS Flex. Continue. And that is the media I want to use. Continue. Create now. All right. We have around three minutes left of the... Um, of the Chromebook doing its thing. So yeah, we're just gonna wait for this to do its thing. We're just gonna shove that off to the side here. And then bring in the Chromebook. You can't see anything. Okay, we have got a, um, a filming solution for now. So yeah, let's restart the time lapse. is done and I've also moved the camera a bit so that you can see both this and the laptop over there and it is Swedish flip because the laptop has a and this is UAC oh okay so first things first let's change the language to come on let me click English United Kingdom. Here we go. And the keyboard UK. Okay, so now let's enable the debugging features. Yup. Let's go root to root. Let's go root as the password. I don't really care. There we go. So now let's go um control alt F. Who? Uh, let's log into Kronos root. Oh, Kronos, Kronos. There we go. We are in a user. So now we're just gonna go um curl dash capital L capital O K Mr Chrome box dot tech slash firmware dash util dot sh oh and let's try that command again there we go um sudo dash uh, firmware util dot sh chronos oh error uh, let's just try sudo dash 
confirm we're util.sh again. Downloading. All right, now it's working. <coughs> Checking white protect state. I, ooh. Your device currently has software white protect enabled. Um, press Y then enter to disable software right protect then reboot. Okay. Disabling. Rebooting. Okay. We still have a couple minutes left here. So I'm just going to boot into the um, dev console again. And we will be back with some um, installing the Mr. Chromebox firmware on this thing. There we go. There is the firmware right protect um thing. So we are going to go to uh important yes we've already read down the previous video. Uh, yup. Create a backup copy of your stock firmware. I already have one. No. Alright, downloading full ROM firmware. Oh okay. Installing from full ROM may take up to 90 seconds okay so once this is done i'm gonna move the camera back to the chromebook just so that you know oh whoa whoa okay it's done enter firmware type full rom slash uefi pending reboot ah enter rebooting yep okay Let's see if this actually works. Let's see if our flash succeeded. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It worked. Nice. But we still have this to wait for. So I'm just going to point the camera over. Zoom in there. And let's just wait. Oh, there we go. It's done. So we can take the USB out of the computer, move the camera back over to the Chromebook, readjust the camera, and move this laptop away. Take the USB stick, plug it into the computer, and go into the boot menu and boot off the USB. I've never done this before. Let's see if this actually works because we're hung up on this black screen. Oh, whoa, 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 Chrome OS Flex. Okay, this is actually working. I was about to say, we're hung up on this black screen. I don't think this is gonna work, but it's working, it looks like. Welcome to Chrome OS Flex. Fast, secure, effortless. And touchpad even works as well. So let's change the language and the, um. Oh yeah, I didn't get the keyboard layout. Good. So, uh, come on. Yeah, this is the only um, issue with Chrome OS Flex. It's a little bit laggy. In fact, I'll go grab a mouse. All right, got a spare mouse. Let's stick it into one of the USB ports. Is this thing even on? Just the thing wasn't even on, okay. So let's select UK. Next, get started. Ooh, I did not know that they had a live environment. I did not know that. So yeah, install Chrome OS Flex. Uh, install Chrome OS Flex. Yup. Installation will erase your entire hard drive. Yes. Make sure your device is plugged in and don't turn it off. Well, I need to go get my power cable. Where is it? Oh, it's here. It was in my drawer of power cables. Anyway, let's... Got it. Anyway, I don't even know anymore. Let's just let this install. complete remove the usb 
USB device before turning your device back on, then you can start using Chrome OS Flex. Your device will shut down in seven, six, five. Okay, let's just let it shut down. Zero. Okay. There we go. It's done. USB coming out. Computer turning on. And hopefully this works. Oh, whoa. This is actually working. Nice. Oh my gosh, this is actually working. Okay. All right, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. So first things first, let's change the language and the keyboard layout. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Get started. Connect to Wi-Fi. Enter connecting. Getting the device ready, okay. I right. choose a Chromebook setup for, for personal use. Yes. Checking for updates. Oh, oh, go oh, no. Oh, 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 skip and remind me later. Use your Google account on the Chromebook. Okay, I'll do that. Just, um, I need to cover this up. Because, um, yeah. So I'm just going to move this out of the way while I type my Google account credentials. I think I got it. If it asks me for any more Google account stuff, I will keep the camera pointed away. Alright, loading. Alright, review these terms and control your data. I know, I do not. By the way, that's why I'm using a USB mouse. Uh, sync Chromebook. Uh, yeah, turn on sync. Oh no! Accept and continue. S select light to dark theme. That's all I want to do. Set the light and dark theme. Uh, dark theme, please. Uh, yup, you're ready. Get started. Okay. We. Are in the latest version, what I think is the latest version, of Chrome OS on a literal Chromebook. This is a Chrome OS Flex on a literal Chromebook. I still can't believe we got here. So yeah, let's see if we can open up a um about this Chromebook or about this pure thing. Uh, terminal. Let's go terminal. Visit developer options to manage Linux. Can I just... No, I don't think I can. Anyway, let's... Developers. Ooh, developer settings. I want to see developer settings. Yup. Turn on! Next! Oh god! So let's change the username to whale770 4.4 gigs Oh, it's a virtual machine Okay Well, we got Chrome OS Flex running on this um, Chromebook and I'd say that's gonna be pretty much it for this video so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and i'll see you guys once i get this linux stuff working bye all right so while i couldn't get linux working i did get the um chrome os updated because you remember in setup it said it it said it needed an update well i did that update and now it says your chromebook is up to date which is nice so yeah i haven't changed anything i'm just probably gonna leave it as it is now so yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you enjoyed it leave a like if you have something to say leave a comment and if you want to see more subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next upload bye